Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this CH47F video, we'll take a look at getting this bird back on the ground safely. We'll do so by first performing a visual meteorological conditions or VMC landing, and then a roll-on landing on a prepared surface. Let's get started. Before we look at some examples, let's look at an important indication on the VSD or vertical situation indicator or landing. Along the right side is the barometric altimeter, but to the right of that is the vertical velocity scale and indication. When the chevron is at zero, our altitude does not change. As we ascend or descend though, the scale will move to reflect the vertical velocity regarding feet per minute with a maximum indication of 3,000 feet per minute. 0.5 as an example indicates 500 feet per minute and one indicates 1,000 feet per minute. For VMC landings, we'll select the spot we want to touch down at from a hover or a very short roll. We'll need to evaluate any obstacles in the area to ensure that we're not too heavy. If possible, try to land with a left crosswind of no more than 45 knots. You can also target a tailwind landing, but only if the winds are less than 40 knots. For winds greater than 45 knots, land with a headwind. Once aligned with the landing spot, I'll lower the thrust lever to adjust your altitude and adjust cyclic for airspeed. Use left and right cyclic to adjust your ground track. When descending, you'll generally be doing so with a nose high altitude of around five degrees. When descending, try to avoid coming in too low as this can lead to impacting obstacles. For a normal descent, target around 300 feet per minute and for a steep descent, around 700 feet per minute. In this example, around 500 feet per minute. A steep angle may also be useful for obstacles around the landing area. As you near the landing spot, you may need to add more aft cyclic to bleed off more airspeed. Once the wheels are down, adjust the cyclic to remove any velocity. Once at a stop, position cyclic slightly aft, neutralize the pedals, and fully lower the thrust lever. A roll-on landing is much the same as a VMC landing, it's the final stage that will do. As before, we'll first determine our touchdown point and intercept our approach heading. Lower the thrust lever and add aft cyclic of about five degrees nose high to maintain a constant rate of descent. Keep the aircraft in trim using the pedals and left and right cyclic to adjust your ground track. At no less than 100 feet, add aft cyclic to further decelerate below 60 knots ground speed. At 50 feet, Use the pedals to refine your approach to align with the roll-on area. It should be roughly 5 degrees nose high during its descent. This may vary as you use cyclic to adjust airspeed. Once the aft landing gear touches down, lower the thrust lever and apply more aft cyclic, but no more than 2 inches. Then, using the thrust lever and the cyclic, adjust your nose high attitude without exceeding a nose pitch of 20 degrees. This will allow aerodynamic braking. Use the left and right cyclic and the pedals to remain aligned down the roll-on area. When stationary or sufficiently slow, slowly lower the thrust lever until the front wheels come down. Apply the wheel brakes if needed and keep the cyclic slightly aft. You can lower the thrust lever all the way down to the ground detent. That's an overview of the two most common ways to land the hook. Thanks for watching. See you next time.